Minister Shavan, we are happy that you are with us. We are happy that you are a consistent supporter of this conference, and we are eager to listen. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, as you can hear, it's a little bit difficult today, but um, I try to do it and I will do it in a very short uh, form, only three short points. First of all, special and very warm welcome. It's a great pleasure for the federal government, for the chancellor, for all the ministers, and especially for me, that the Falling Walls Conference is taking place again this year in Berlin. In Berlin on a special date for this city and a special date for our country and I think a special date for Europe and the whole world, the 9th of November. Second, the Falling Walls Conference is about building bridges between science and industry, between society and politics, and that is important, especially in a country like Germany, because compared to other industrialized countries, that's fine. We are the one with the highest proportion of economic value creation that is based on research. The highest proportion of economic value based on research. That means prosperity in Germany is founded in a vital extent on research and development. And therefore, it is necessary and it's important to have um, strong ideas and, and a lot of creati creativity for, a, for the research policy and for dialogue between policy and research. And the third point and a special point, and I think an, a most important point in the next weeks. The Falling Walls Conference fits well in our strategy for internationalization. This is the first issue now in the national research policies, to come to a common strategy for internationalization in every country in Europe. Science operates internationally and represents one great global network. National and European research policymakers are part of the globe, this global network. They are constantly working to improve the general framework for research. The policy places to improve the general framework for research. The policy places an emphasis on an international dimension. We are currently discussing the new research framework <coughs> program of the European Union. This will be one of the most important debates in the next weeks. This is a debate that is closely intertwined with the question of where Europe obtains what it needs to make itself fit for the future. We must keep the 3% target that is, in short, in the EU's Lisbon strategy firmly in mind. The next few years will decide whether we will be successful in pre presenting... Pardon. <clears throat> in presenting Europe as an interesting and relevant partner in the global research network, and I'm convinced that Europe can do more. The countries of the EU have an enormous pool of scientific curiosity and creativity that can be tapped. Europe has a long tradition of scientific discovery. Europe has a great university tradition. And right now, in these difficult times, Europe has the possibility to open up new sources of strength by taking the right decisions for research and development. And this is something that I will work very hard to achieve. That's a key, 
key question for Europe and we have this to decide and to talk about it in the next uh, weeks and the next months. So let me say once more a very warm welcome to you all. It's great to have you here. Enjoy the stay in Berlin on a very special day. Thank you. <laughs>